Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at section 3.8 on implicit differentiation. And I want to start with number five where we want to find dy dx for the curve x to the fourth plus y to the fourth equals two. Then I want to find dy dx at the specific point one minus one. In other words, I want to find the slope of this curve at this point. Okay. So let's start out by finding dy dx. So we know that we have the curve x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is equal to two, and we wanna find dy dx for this curve. So the first thing we wanna do is let's take the derivative of each of these pieces individually. The first piece that we wanna take the derivative of is the x to the fourth piece. And the derivative of x to the fourth is four, x cubed. We already know how to do this one. Now we want to take the derivative of the y to the fourth piece, which is a little bit different. Uh, when I take the derivative of y to the fourth, you can think of y as just being something, okay? And how do we take the derivative of something to the fourth power? Well, the derivative of something to the fourth power we know by the chain rule is four times that something to the third power. But we're not done because the chain rule says we also have to multiply that by the derivative of what's inside. And in this case, what's inside is y. So we need to multiply that by the derivative of y, which is dy over dx. And so this is the derivative of y to the fourth is 4y cubed dy dx. And then the derivative of 2 is 0. Now I just want to solve this thing for dy dx. If I do, I get that 4y cubed times dy dx is equal to negative 4x cubed. So I just move the 4x cubed to the other side. Now I'll divide both sides by 4y cubed, and I get that dy over dx is equal to negative 4x cubed divided by 4 y cubed. Uh, I can cancel the 4s at this point, simplify a little bit more. Cancel those 4s, and I get negative x cubed over y cubed. All right, so this is my derivative or my dy dx, so let's box that in. I get that dy dx is negative x cubed over y cubed. All right, now let's look at the second piece. In the second piece, we were going to find dy dx at the specific point, 1 minus 1. So I want to find dy over dx at the specific point, 1 minus 1. So this little bar here just means evaluated at. And I put the point down here I want to evaluate at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace everywhere where I see an x in the derivative with a 1 everywhere I see a y in the derivative with a minus one. So I get minus one cubed over negative one cubed. <clears throat> in other words, this is negative one over minus one, or if you prefer, just one. So there are two parts of this problem. First, we wanted to find dy dx. We d took the derivative implicitly, and we're able to find dy dx. And then the second part of this problem is uh, plug in the point 1 minus 1 for x and y and get an actual slope at that point of 1. 